Hello, it's me, and I've been gone for a while, and I've returned to a couple of packages. I honestly can't remember what they are, but I figured I'd go through an, a surprise unboxing, and it's as much of a surprise to me as I think it is to you, so I'm very excited. This one is a big package, which means it's either a big puzzle, or it's a bunch of puzzles. Either way, it'll be interesting to find out. So let's see what we got. Opens up pretty well. Huh. What could this be? What could this... Is it even a puzzle? I, I assume so, because there's... Wow. What was it that I got? Oh, I know what I got. I know what this is. It's not a bunch of puzzles. It is indeed one big puzzle. And it's not your standard big puzzle. It's a really big puzzle. It's a, well, I guess we would say an over-the-top type big puzzle. And to be honest with you, it came a little faster than I thought it would. Now, I'm not a big packaging kind of guy. I tend to throw away the package as soon as they get here. But this one is awful fancy. And I guess it's fitting because if you're going to keep going over the top... Let's see if I can dissect through this here. Then you might as well give them a little bit more. But you can see through here. Now, these over-the-tops are not only getting well over the top, but they're getting better and better in terms of craftsmanship. Uh, it comes in a very nice package over here. Very nice box. Well done. And as we open it up, we see a very large, over-the-top puzzle. Um, I'm not sure how much this whole packaging thing here costs. It looks like it's fairly well made. And what this is, is it's a black and stickered 15 by 15 puzzle. And what jumps out right away from it is the fact that it's so playably compact, so small. The movement is really good. Let's go through a checkerboard pattern. What I really like about puzzles that become mass produced is they're past the prototyping stage and into the functional playable stage. The thing about 3D, three-dimensionally printed puzzles is they're really just prototypes. So there's always a little bit of catching and you're not sure if it's ready for prime time. I gotta tell you, this is probably amongst the best made over-the-top puzzles I've seen, not just in terms of playability, but just in terms of size. This is incredible. For me, my hope is that this is like a new evolution in large puzzles because, well, of the size. It's not, uh, it's a, it's a 15 by 15, but it seems like it's actually smaller than my 13 by 13. And I might have to just bring that out to show that. And I can actually hold it in one hand. This is absolutely amazing. Checkerboard looks like a, an Uber checkerboard. So now let's go on this area here. This did come a lot faster than I thought it would. It was in the pre-order stage. And my suggestion is to get this puzzle. Wow. I know the 17 by 17 is mass produced, but that's a beast. That is something that... Uh, you know, I don't know how playable that... Well, I do know how playable it is. And it is fairly playable in terms of the motion. But this, in terms of the size, it kind of reminds me of the 7x7. Anyway, so here it is in the checkerboard pattern in all of its glory. So you saw how nicely the movement was. And I'm just going to see how this compares to with a 15... With a 13x13. Okay, so... Stickers peeling a little bit. Now, I wonder if they gave me an extra set of stickers. I wonder if they thought to do that, and... Well, they gave me a bunch of other things. They gave me uh, some screws and a core and an extra set of stickers. Very well done. And uh, a book. Boy, this was a big deal. This was a big deal. Well, it's in... It's in Chinese. And it goes a little bit more about the collector's box and whatnot. Okay, so fa fairly, very classy done, classily done. But in any case, here is the 13 by 13. So you can see puzzle technology has really gone far. It's smaller than this. It's more portable than this. I know this one is, is very playable puzzle. And I think I did a, a layer by layer solve, which I think I might do with this one as well. But you can see the technology is just getting much more compact. Yeah, so this is really good. Going to... But it doesn't really strain my hand at all. It's uh, very easy to hold. Hold it in one hand like that. Here, 
you know, I could do the same thing, but it's just a much more larger, almost unwieldy type of a thing. And of course, here is the famous 17 by 17. Now, I can't wait for the stickered version of this. I, I got this because it was there. I didn't know if they were going to uh, come up with a stickered version. So this is not the final piece in my collection. This is just here to get it. But here is 17 by 17, a beast, a mammoth of over the top. This is a 13 by 13, and here's a 15 by 15. 15 by 15, which is within the, uh, which is really what looks like the next evolutionary step in puzzle technology. Whoop. Unless I'm trying to scramble it for some reason. The pieces are, are small, but they're not too ungainly. There's no catching. So this is to anybody who's thinking of getting a puzzle like this. And, and if you were to choose, stick with this one. 17 by 17 if you really want an over-the-top type puzzle. 13 by 13, sure, but this one just seems so much more portable. So if you were just deciding on what's the next over-the-top, and it's my understanding others may be coming from Moyu, maybe a 19 by 19, but Moyu seems to be the one that has really perfected the over-the-top large puzzles, large cubes. So. Wow, what else can I say except exactly that? Wow. Uh, I'm going to be coming back at you with a solve of this, probably a layer-by-layer -layer solve of this, and perhaps of this. And, uh, well, more to come. Excellent puzzle. Congratulations, Moyu. Very well, very well done. Well, I can't really, I can't really wait. I'm going to go ahead and scramble it. By the way, I'll also say I usually like pillows, uh, I usually like puzzles to be squared and not pillowed. The pilling is very subtle with this, so I'm happy with the lack of of, of pillowed quality to this. It looks square enough to be very acceptable to me. For some of the larger pillowed puzzles, I'm actually commissioning people to turn them into squares. But anyway, this looks pretty good. So why don't we just go ahead and scramble this guy up? All right. <clears throat> so let's just throw caution to the wind. And if it weren't for the number of layers, I think I'm just scrambling a seven by seven just because this is very playable. But I figured I'd see what it's like just going through this process. There's no real technique of scrambling like there are with the cuboids. Just dive in and have at it, basically. But I like to go side by side and just start separating a lot of these guys out. There we go. And now I'm past the point of no return. There's no doubt about it, it must be solved at this point. Now, what's the best way to solve it? Well, with a 15 by 15, there's a variety of different techniques. There's your standard technique of reduction. And because it's an odd layer puzzle, there won't be any tricks to it. There won't be any parity situations. Um, then you can, or you can do it layer by layer, which to be honest with you, is my preferred way of doing large puzzles because there's a little bit more variation that can happen with a solve and a little bit more unpredictability. And for me, it's less, I don't know, cumbersome. To do it that way. So I'm peeling these all away from each other, making sure that no two colors fall in any specific pattern, trying to simulate randomness as much as I can. Turn this over here. Let's go ahead and turn these guys around like so. So I'll tell you that this is a very easy puzzle to turn, very easy on the hands. All right, turn this over here. And I'm not speeding this up because I really want you to see just how seamlessly this is. Like I say, to me, this is like a new evolutionary jump in puzzle des uh, design. Now, this came with a bunch of pictures. Now, I'm not really of the engineering sort that look at the inner workings. I just like the finished product. But you're welcome to look at that. Uh, I'm very comfortable with the ease of scrambling this without any popping or any issues like that. I just have this confidence with a puzzle that it's not going to pop. It just seems very solid in its build. Uh, it's interesting that they gave me those spare parts just in case, but of course I do have a healthy degree of respect for all new puzzles and I try not to treat them too aggressively because you never know exactly what you're going to get. 
but this looks like it's been very well bedded, very well looked after. Uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So there it is. A scrambled 15 by 15 puzzle. And it might be a little while before I can get to this to do the layer by layer scramble, but rest assured I can only look at a scrambled puzzle for so long before it drives me crazy and I decide that I need to get that scrambled. Well, the only thing that can top a scrambled 15 by 15 is a scrambled oh, 17 by 17. So without any further ado, why don't we just do that with this guy also? And this is Euxin. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. This is going to take me a little bit more time to do. The movement is also smooth, but it is a bigger puzzle. It's got bigger pieces. So this is a two-handed thing. This is a set on your table and use two hands. Whoa! There's no lifting with this. I mean, there is, but risk. do it at the risk of your own carpal tunnels. Wow, yeah, this is a beast. This is something that you get and you buy simply because it's fascinating. It is solvable, it is playable. It is scrambleable, which is good. Uh, now this is more pillowed. It's not terribly pillowed, but it is more pillowed. And I'm still waiting for the stickered black square version of this, which I actually have. I do have the original over the top. Still having some issues with its playability, its ability to scramble. So I haven't worked myself up to it yet. To me, it's more just a prototyped work of art. And I don't want to wreck anything. I don't want to destroy anything. Here, let me try this. Whoa. At great risk to the tendons in my hand, I lifted it with one. I lifted it up. Okay, so you can see there's a little bit of alignment issues. And I don't want to cause any popping because I do not want to reassemble this puzzle. But it's my understanding that this is also a very stable puzzle. Also bear in mind too, the way that I'm holding this puzzle for the purposes of the camera is also not ideal. So it might be making things a little harder on myself and everybody else. There we go. Turning this bad boy around. Look at this cacophony of colors. This symphony of pieces. Maybe we should do like puzzle poetry or something. You know, I'm actually breaking a sweat. Maybe it's because it's summer, <clears throat> it's summer here and very hot. And we got the doors open so we don't have the air conditioning on. There we go. Or maybe it's just because I'm extending an effort in the scramble here. There we go. Wow. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Okay, so you get a double scramble for one. Because like I say, until I do this, it's just going to sit there unscrambled and forever solved. And that's ultimately not why I buy the puzzles. Okay, so you can see the turning is good with this one. The turning is good. But there is some alignment issues that can happen simply because of the size of it. And I don't want to push past it, past anything. I don't want to cause any uh, corner turning. I think this is the last side that I need to do more of a scramble. And to be honest with you, the pillowing does make alignment an issue. Even when I try to put it flat, the pillowing keeps it from becoming too flat. So that makes it a little more difficult. Okay, well, I've been waiting to do this for a while also. So there, there it is. That's incredible. It, it's almost hypnotizing. But here we have a scrambled 17 by 17, as well as a scrambled 15 by 15. So coming at you will be, if so requested, a layer by layer solve of each one. But right now these are my most prized of over the top possessions. Uh, the Moyu 15 by 15 and the Yuxin 17 by 17. There you have it, more solves to come. 
and hopefully more over the tops to come too. Thanks for watching.